Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Fury. We're coming back in right after where we left off. I turned the game audio up a little bit as well. It was a little quiet in the last one. <laughs> you will be broken. You will go back to yourself. Bravo! Excellent! What a thrill! Not your first time, right? Anyway, the good news, we're one step closer I really like that you can see that he has like a normal news. human face below There's it. There's more out there waiting for us. Also, I googled it, by the way. This but guy's name is Fury. I know them. I can nope, help. it's not. His name is The Stranger. Believe me, what's waiting at the end of all um, this I like that is so worth the trouble. Rabbitman's face We're in the same boat has everything but the jaw well, uncovered. And on The Stranger's face, he has just the jaw covered. They could have the same model, and we wouldn't know. Pressing any button here makes you auto-walk onto the thing. Our friend here managed to trigger the alarm, so they'll be waiting for you. I like that in bear. No worries. It makes no difference. Yeah. I've been waiting for you forever. It's all they do. It's what I do. Love a good purple sky, of course. This is bad. There lies a free world. A world of peace and light. Where you're free as the wind. And you know what? We're going to get there. It's a good tactic to, like, free a player character from jail and get him to just work for you. It works in the Elder Scrolls. I'll tell you what I know on the way. But don't expect all the answers. It's all about what a man does. I love the lighting. That, my friend, is a prison. A prison within a prison. Like, his cape is red. The stranger's cape is red. But, like, here, it looks like he's wearing light blue and orange because of how extreme and Tron the light is. That's a good... That's good. You and the prisoner have a lot in common. She turned up one day, destroyed everything in her wake, and then, bam! She got caged. Let me turn this up a little bit if I'm going to be not talking over it. Oh yeah, I also checked there are 12 bosses in this game. So this turns into 12 episodes, that would be why. Get out. And you couldn't hear a squeak. I mean, considering the stranger just had his arms in tubes and was being tortured for, like... Dan only knows how long, but, like... Was he not even in the worst prison? She a little tried dark, to by tear the through those walls so many times, but they just kept growing back around her. It drove her completely insane, enraged. She will haunt anything and rip it to pieces. Makes sense. Now that's some jailer, right? Yeah, I got a weird guy with a bunch of masks. But you and me, we know that being locked up fucks you up. Inside. We know that 
that so well, don't we? That's why we did what we did. That's why we're getting out. Something tells me that this person is not joining the party. That's why our story doesn't end like that. I love, because like, the bosses are often where any video game makes it, you know? And like, sometimes even in games where that's not the intent, that's what happens. In Metal Gear, like, the bosses, the enemy unit, can make or break that game, you know? In Demon Souls, the game does not have that much of an emphasis on bosses. And the main focus is on the areas. But every Dark Souls afterwards, and Bloodborne for that matter, nice. um, the bosses become so much more of a thing. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Stinger. Lasers. Oh, I've got this as well. I, I can go all the way out here. I didn't realize. I've got cover. Oh, and it breaks. We space invaders now, boils. Yep, it's space invaders. Didn't realize that could happen. Loud and clear, though. Stay in the arena. You're not going to get anything done outside. It'll probably happen if I fall in the middle hole as well. As mentioned in the thing, the walls appear to be regenerating. See, in Dark Souls, like... People end up liking the bosses way more than the areas. And so, like, every Dark Souls game has more and more emphasis on bosses. It's why Dark Souls 2 has so many bosses, even though, like, some things wouldn't normally be bosses. And it's why there's a bunch of bad Dark Souls 2 bosses. Because the inexperienced development team were like, yo, can we get, like, more bosses in here? People seem to like those. Because uh, Namco Bandai was like, hey, from another Dark Souls. And Miyazaki and the A-Team were like, hey, yeah, sure, but we're working on Bloodborne. And I don't like to make sequels. And they were like, yeah, but more Dark Souls, though. And so they, they got a bunch of randos from From Software uh, to make it. And if you look at all of the names compared from like Dark Souls 1 to Bloodborne, there's a lot of the same talent. And if you look at Dark Souls 1 to 2, the repeating talent is usually... Yufa. I wanted to check that now that my health is full. The repeating talent is usually stuff like assistance, whatever's being promoted to like head weapons. This is a jailed woman with a laser on her head on a little unicycle. But like, even in the 80s and 90s, people knew that the bosses of the video game were awesome. There's this one game, I think it's called Alien Soldier. It's a Sega like Genesis game. Uh, where there are just so many bosses. Like, 
bosses and mini bosses appear like once every couple of seconds. Because it's great, it's cool. But on the flip side, the issue with that is that, you know, if there's so many bosses, every individual boss hits less arc. Again, the problem with Dark Souls 2. And so the ascension of this is there are no enemies. It's just a boss game. And you know what? That's fine. That's great. And it works. It worked for fucking Shadow of the Colossus. It's one of the greatest games of all goddamn time. So I suspect because she shoots more, the gun will do less against her. Get in. And it looks to be the case as well. Yo! Yo! We're just fucking Z fighting. Yo! Alright, one peg down. Don't lose it, Mr. Fury. She's got new types of attacks. I'm gonna destroy these bullets, that's good. The gun is almost more defensive than offense. And it looks like, yes, it is safe to just back away. Oh, and those things only split whenever they hit anything, not just a wall. So you can split them early and then work on the cloud that you're dealing with. You gotta remember I got that charge shot as well. It'll probably destroy some of the bullets that I'm not able to break with just my normal shots. Or I might just kill these in one pop. But I I don't like the gun as much as I like this fucking super rad katana. Hit the right stick when you're in in this. Stranger pulls out a little, pulls out the sword and does a little stance. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I'm, it's a buff. I'm buffing myself. My my tech lines all turn uh, orange. <laughs> Yo, okay. She's melee now, so now I probably have to shoot her more. There's a balance to it, you know, as there should be. <laughs> okay. She's got homing bullets. I love this. I love every single piece of this separately and together. This works, man. This works. I'm also glad to be LPing with a controller again. I haven't done it since like February when I was recording. Um, looks like you can go past it and then hit it. When I was doing um, Far Cry Primal. Really good use of the silhouettes to make sure that I know where my character is at all times. Man, so they kind of front load you. The Jailer is way harder than this character. Like, even if her second phase is harder.
And that's the thing that I, I don't know if it's called this, but I usually call it skill gating. When, it, when a game is like, yo, if you want to beat this game, you got to be able to get good. You don't have to be good, not at the start, you got to be able to get good. Um, it's why in Dark Souls the gargoyles are so early, and why arguably the hardest boss in the game, Ornstein the Smo, is like halfway through the game. Because they gotta make sure that you're gonna be good enough to get through the rest of the game. Um, what do I do there? Not worth it. Not worth it unless I can get fucking good at least. What? It almost makes every fight into a DPS, which is great. The fact that both opponents can regenerate at such an accelerated rate, like this is this is a duel in one of the purest senses. I still don't know what to do with that. What's that? Oh! The little tricks that you can abuse in the arena. That's interesting. I kind of assumed that this game would be nothing but just pure, like, deal with it, though. But it's really not. Oh god. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I can only parry when I'm at full health. I need the confidence. You get behind her. You have to get close and get behind her, of course. Yo! Okay. Blocked one. Snake Woman, like, um, I mean, not to talk about Dark Souls 2 again, but like the Medusa Lady in Dark Souls 2. By the way, I find it very telling that in Dark Souls 2, there's just a regular old snake lady, like a Medusa Woman. Ooh! <laughs> Also barefoot. <laughs> Yo! I love fights like this. I love fights where as the fight goes, you're just breaking. You can charge your <laughs> Yo, you can charge everything! Right, use the bait. Reminds me of this one No More Heroes 2 boss as well. It's also a woman locked up in a in a asylum. I mean not even an asylum, like hit. damn. Far less bait for me to use here.
<laughs> no, okay. I was hoping it would work. It doesn't appear to be the case. Nice. I don't know why I decided to LP this game. I should have known that my commentary would have just disintegrated into nothing. what the Matrix wanted to be. <laughs> it wanted to be this cool. Damn. Ooh, starting to run out of juice. It's getting real tight, y'all. Wait. Shit. Where does she go to? There you are. She's got a command grab. Get her, stranger. want to have more melee fights. I kind of prefer those and they give me more opportunities to parry, which then let me heal. Okay. <laughs> Too early. It's a really tight window. Too early on that third one there. Okay, I know that this is an HD game on the fucking 8th generation of consoles, but this feels like a Nintendo game. Like an NES. Like, that's just how it feels. It's just so brutal and raw and just... Oh! You can't stop now. We're on the road to freedom. You will What does this beat even her. tell me? Shoot, dodge. Punish. I mean, yeah, that's that's just normal stuff. You can do that's interesting. Charge your boost. Okay. Take two. Bait is a lot more useful in this phase. And I guess it would be, huh? Get out. Oh, and that thing stops at a certain range because she only has so much go with it. Oh god. They're like, hey, this character is got their mercy invincibility on now. Don't hit her. Like, it, it is it is a very clear and open point. Like, don't hit the orange character.
got to be way tighter on it then, huh? I'm not talking. I do realize it. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't carry you far enough to like really, really chase it. But that's okay. What is she doing? I was just focusing on the laser thing. So she's just bashing her head against the walls? Because, I mean, it fits with the character. Hiya! so not used to her melee attacks. She's such an aggressive ranged character that I'm completely not used to it. Music by Carpenter Brook. Okay. Like, all I want to do is just get in with the sword. That's always what I want to do in, like, every video game. That's... Damn. Too early. <laughs> the way that it homes is not like I would expect. It's a little interesting. Too early again. And it looks like she stopped as soon as she's actually successfully tagged. Me, so. Okay, so you just gotta dodge behind cover. good to get the parry. Like, the flash of green, it's all, it's all, it's all there, man. It's all right on. Here. Oh, don't drop it, stranger. Staying in this phase, though? Nope. Damn. That was, that was bad. I think I was too late on that. Okay. Nice. I realized I had a point on Bloodborne a couple of hours ago. Bloodborne is a very parry happy, very heavy game. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. But at some point, the game kind of dissolves into just like, especially in the versus, the game is just who gets the parry first, you know? And then they usually have so many like things stacked on themselves that they just win. Too early. I 
need more hands. <laughs> like, I want to be able to be hitting the buttons too early. I want to be able to be hitting the buttons and be... Oop. Get in! It's so tense. I feel like I should start over now. That's what this... If a game makes me feel like I'm doing that, then, then it has made me into a perfectionist. And it's happening on the second fucking boss. On my second try on said second boss, in fact. Take the hit. That reminds me, I've still never finished my LP of uh, Dark Souls 1. And by LP, it is technically a stream. Which is one reason that it's hard, because like, if I stream, I gotta stream at a time of day when people would be willing to, or able even to watch. Are we in there? Can we get away from the edge? Thank you. Oh, fuck. Alright, I've got a peg back, she's down a peg. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, cool. That was stupid. Ah, she's upgraded the four as well. And the fourth one is way faster. What is, what was, is that supposed to happen? I don't remember that happening the first time. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh my god, I'm rejuvenated. That's so cool. Damn it. It, it really teases you with it. It's like, alright, let's slowly refill both competitors' health bars. Let him take a little break. Let him wipe his hand off on his jeans. I say that, but I'm not actually wearing jeans. But like, every time I see a speed run at like HDQ or something, there's always a guy who, at least like once during a stream, is just like rubbing his hand on his jeans constantly to like get that good frictiony feeling you get when you're wearing jeans. Just so everyone's clear, if I would have stopped talking, I probably would have whooped this uh, person's ass much faster. Damn it. Oh, so there's a perfect parry. That's what triggers the craft. Perfect parry on the last hit.
<laughs> oh man. Oh man, we in there. Alright, you got two, I got two. I hate this because she's invisible. Is it this? It is. Tiniest little chip off of her health bar. Oh god! Okay, big wide one. Damn it! People say dark is hard. Probably stupid, but let's see, huh? Fuck was that, dog? Oh, that's disheartening. This tennis match of life goes on. Man, I'm looking at this and I'm like, should I not do a LP of this game? This is the second boss. Orange shot hitter. You will not get your huggy wuggies, madam. Please get off of me and stop noticing my bulge. Please go watch Huggy Wuggies by Computers. And then subscribe as well. I gotta get Kate to play this game. Woo! Miss you about it? I noticed that earlier, but like. Because, like, all I wanna do is just get parry after parry after parry after parry and just constantly be getting my health. But on the boss where that's actually a thing, that'll probably be like... A boss where they have just so much goddamn health. Okay, game does not need it, but imagine how sick a taunt button would be. Big ol' wave. Punish. Okay. Okay, so she highlights the ground for a little bit. And then she dies. That was the wrong button. I just hit the wrong button there. Oh god. It can't be over yet. <laughs> this is still the second try on the second boss. Okay. Okay. What's happening here? I guess it makes sense that the jailer would send out little heal things every so often because, like, 
the Jailer's nature is that he does have to keep you alive. Jesus! This fucking Danmaku, y'all! Another thing about Dark Souls boss is that some of them employ a thing called huh, the victory lap. Huh, damn, too early. And again, too early. Okay, where are you going with this, dog? Visible, invincible rather. That's one thing I never got about the invincible cartoon. If he's if the show's called Invincible, why can I still see him? Oh, that's evil! She does it right when you're up close to her. Get off of me. No huggy wuggies for you, Adam. Oh, am I gonna have to do the Don Maku again? Sure am. Gotta watch the purple ones. Try to make sure the purple ones hit me. So I'm behind cover. <laughs> God. My hands are getting so sweaty. Okay. This is the laser one. Too early again. Why can't I do it? Okay. Perfect. Now I'm screwing it up on the other side. Okay. Maybe this will work. Four. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! That was so extreme! Oh my god, I'm shaking and quaking. Well done. Thank you, it was you really hard. Out of her misery. Oh <laughs> That was the second of twelve she fights. She through one day, frantically searching for something. Actually, I should end the episode because I need to make a god so I need wild. to take a goddamn break and so have a, put her in a little cage. drink because woof. Uh, I've been Alfred, I'll then see you guys next time. And they did even worse. <laughs> Yow. Yowza. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Fury. Holy shit, buy this fucking game. It's so cool. Even if you can't beat it or don't want to play it, buy this game. Support those French guys. Oh my god. Woo!